We're here at the Mayhem Fest. We've got Adam Grayer with Colcock. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you doing today? Doing fantastic. You can take that. Oh, beautiful. Now, what year is this for Colcock? We are about to finish up our second year of being a business, and we were marketing a different brand, Jägermeister. We did all the music marketing and the sponsorships for that, and our founders decided that they'd wanted to create their own brand. We found that there were a lot of flavored uh, liquor brands, flavored whiskeys, flavored vodkas that were very high in sugar, and they had a really great idea to be able to find a way to naturally flavor whiskey with natural herbs like green tea, hibiscus, ginseng, ginkgo. And what those herbs do is they kill the burn out of whiskey without loading it up with lots of sugar. So it goes down completely smooth. Yeah. Wow. So unlike some of these other brands, they're a little harsh. It's got the smooth. But the exactly. It still tastes like whiskey, but it doesn't have the burn of whiskey. Yeah. Now, from the beginning, obviously, you guys have had a very different approach as far as getting the bands involved from the beginning as opposed to an old liquor that later got artists involved. This seemed like it was artist driven from the yes. beginning, very socially, you know, media aware. Talk about kind of the concept of how this is different as far as rolling out the brand. We had spent a lot of years working with bands, with managers of bands, artists, uh, booking agents, festival owners like John Reese and Kerry King from Slayer. And when we decided to create the brand, the first thing we did was we went to all of our friends in the industry told them about the brand, told them about our marketing strategy, and a lot of them came in and invested. So Kerry King from Slayer is an investor in our brand. John Reese, the owner of this festival, is an investor. Uh, the lead singer of Disturbed, the lead singer of Slightly Stupid, the booking agent for Avenged Sevenfold, the booking agent for Slipknot. They're all investors in our brand. And then on top of that, since we've had a lot of relationships with smaller acts from all over the country, we started supporting those acts and working with them to help spread the word of the brand. We didn't want to be a traditional liquor brand that did television advertising or print advertising or radio advertising. We realized that most fans that go see concerts, that's where they go to escape their lives, have a few drinks and really enjoy it. So if their favorite band is on You're not stage. A fan of the corporate world. Exactly. If their favorite band is on stage wearing a Colcock shirt, doing a shot of Colcock, or posting on their social media, it gets you more excited about that brand as opposed to if you just see a TV commercial. Super Bowl ad or something. Exactly. So we've spent a lot of time working with bands and that's why working on this tour has been a perfect match for us. We've worked with John Reese and with Kerry King and being able to be on tour with Slayer, with the Mayhem Tour, with Rockstar Energy Drink, uh, we know that this is where our fans will come and expect to see a great experience and be able to either for the first time try our brand or come back in and welcome an old friend. Yeah, amazing. So obviously you have different levels of partners and affiliates and all that. For a baby band, a band that might be big in Cincinnati or Louisville, how do they get involved and where do they benefit from the association? The first thing they can do, every band out there, and we've actually seen a lot of it happening, is they contact us directly off our website or uh, a lot of bands actually will play shows with other bands we sponsor and immediately go, what's this cold cock whiskey? How do I get in touch with them? And they'll give them my information or Rick's information and they'll reach out to us. And our goal is to work with everyone that wants to work with us. If you've tried our brand and love it and want to help spread the word of it, we want to work with you. And we support these bands in so many different ways. One of the things we're doing on this tour is the opener band on this tour is actually a cold cock sponsored band. So that's the part so, of the battle of the bands? Uh, that's, another, that's another thing that that's we're a doing. Different thing. So okay. we've taken a lot of bands that have been really doing great jobs promoting and supporting our brand. Okay. And I get to call them up and say, congratulations, you get to open up the Rockstar Mayhem Festival with Slayer. a different band in each market? Exactly. And uh, the other thing we're doing is through the partnerships with a lot of our investors, we created a Battle of the Bands contest where bands can go out and promote cold cock whiskey, get points for doing all these different things to promote the brand responsibly, and one band will win a year-long booking contract with CAA, the largest booking agency in the world, a record deal, a management deal, uh, gear, 
a PR deal yeah, to really basically break their band almost overnight. So if they do a great job promoting Cold Cock and being a great band, they have an opportunity of a lifetime, which is not something most other companies or brands or organizations yeah. can offer. Yeah, it's priceless. Money can't buy that stuff. Exactly. And that's where we look at it is we want to build a family relationship with our bands. We even have a private Facebook artist community where our bands go on and get to talk to each other and get to know each other and hang out trade shows with each other, say, hey, I'm going on tour, does anyone want to come join? And we've actually seen as a result of that, some of our bands have started touring together and for a, a bar or a club, if you have two or three bands coming into town that are all sponsored by Colcock Whiskey, you know your bar sales are going to be great that day. Yeah. And the bands appreciate being able to be a part of something bigger than their own. They get to go and say, I'm part of the same company that Kerry King from Slayer owns. Yeah. And that's a huge deal for a band. And then our social media, we devote to promoting our bands as well. Sure. Now, when is the winner chosen for the Battle of Bands? And tell us about the judging process for that. What we've got it set up is that at the end of the summer, the bands with the most points for promoting our brand uh, they get to move on to the judging phase by becoming finalists. And we have a list of top judges in the industry, Kevin Lyman from the Warp Tour, John Reese, Dan Jacobs from Atreyu, Sam Betley from Asking Alexandria, um, Maria Ferreira from Adrenaline PR. And the judges get to look at these bands' packages as far as their music, their videos, their touring schedule. And every judge has their own criteria of what they may feel is important to them about what makes a quality band. My apologies right. of the fly here. Um, and they let me know their top three choices. The band with the most votes from the judges becomes the winner. And then we have, sorry, the fly is killing me. Uh, then we have a second place uh, winner that will win gear and some other cool prizes. So, but the beauty from us is that for a band, just getting to that judging part is a prize in amongst itself because one of the, how many will be in that semifinal that uh, we're going to pick the top 10 bands top 10 yeah so from what i've heard throughout the years is a lot of bands come to me and say hey how do i get kevin lyman or john reese or a big name band to listen to my music yeah. so that alone is a great prize to know that what some of those bands may or may not win the contest but if some of these judges listen to their music and say you know what I, they were my first choice. They didn't win, but they were my first choice. So I may really want to do something cool with them. You may get an even better opportunity yeah. down the line just because you caught the eye of Dan Jacobs from Atreyu or Kevin Lyman. Sure. Amazing stuff. So obviously you're out on Mayhem. Are there, after this tour is over, are there any other like special events or tours you're involved in? I know you're part of the... Um, the Taste of Chaos. And yes, we uh, we are working very closely with John Reese and his events and okay. couldn't be more proud to be on this tour, which just kicked off yesterday. Okay. We're sponsoring the, the Taste of Chaos Festival, the It's Not Dead Festival, Not Fest, which just got announced today, which with a stellar lineup of yeah. Judas Priest and Slipknot and some amazing bands. Wow. Uh, we're working with him on his uh, on other events. He's got a uh, EDM festival that's going to kick off Labor Day weekend, and he's got another festival, the Heart of Persia Festival, which is a pretty amazing festival. It's an area that we've never been involved in before, so we're excited about that. Yeah. And then we also have a bunch of other events. I'm working on a sponsoring a big uh, event in El Paso, Texas, the Texas Tattoo Showdown Festival with Ice Cube and The Offspring and okay. Limp Biscuit. What's the date on that one? That's July 17th and 19th in El Paso. Okay. And then we also are doing next weekend, one of the, my favorite events coming up is an event with Camp Pendleton. We're sponsoring Camp Pendleton's big July 4th beach bash that's open to the Marines on base and their families, about 30 to 40,000 Marines. And we're getting to bring out some of our Colcock sponsor bands to perform for them and just put on a really great event for the Marines on base. Yeah. Well, obviously, there's a really strong base in rock and metal, and 
punk and you got the EDM thing coming up. Are you guys involved at all in hip hop or in the urban side of things? Uh, we are. We haven't yet, in my opinion, done enough on our end. And uh, there are some great artists we've worked with, some great artists we've met. Uh, the guys in Twisted are incredible friends of ours. Yeah. Um, even though Little John works with uh, another liquor brand, he's been a friend of ours for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, but metal has been our core. It's what made us who we are. The metal fans are so loyal, and they're brand loyal. They're loyal to the bands. They're out here today in 100-degree weather, just running up and down the field, moshing on that stage, and just having a blast. I was at the show in San Diego last night, and... The crowds for Slayer were some of the most amazing I've ever seen, and it's just a genre that really makes you feel like you're part of a family. And uh, there are a lot of great genres of music that like uh, that are like that, but metal has just always been a core for us. Yeah, fantastic. And from what you've seen, what advice do you give to the young bands? Obviously, outside of just promoting Colcock. What tips do you see out there being on the road around all these bands that bands really need to concentrate on to have a shot these days? They really need to be out playing shows. And there's a simple myth of you can play 10 times in your market, but that's not the right thing to do. A lot of uh, bands can possibly get caught in that trap, but I think the best advice is get out there, play shows within a three-hour radius of you, find great markets to play in, and be on the road, play weekend warrior shows, Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights, play eight, ten times a month, build your fan bases in those markets, promote like crazy, and don't stop until you've been able to go into every market and put a thousand people in the room. And don't try and travel the country too far on your first tour, but don't play too much at home and spread out and just get out there. and build a circuit. Exactly. There's no real radio anymore. There's no MTV anymore. There's no big record deals anymore. So you have to do it on your own. But the beauty is that there's so many more opportunities for young band. There's Pandora, there's Spotify, there's iTunes, CD Baby. You can sell your music online. You can get your music heard very easily. And if you get out on the road and play lots of shows, you're going to build a fan base and really have a strong following. And be able to attract sponsors like us, festivals like the Mayhem Festival, people like John Reese, bigger bands, bigger tours, bigger managers. Adam, thanks so much. We're excited about what's going on. Can't wait to see more of the Mayhem and Colcock on the road. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank you very much. Appreciate and to all your fans out there, take your shot.